I am back. Uh, I've been busy, so I haven't been able to uh, work on any videos, but I uh, hope I can get a few out of the way now. I also plan on continuing the uh, How to Draw the Female Figure from Your Mind series as well. I just haven't added any for a little bit, but I will be adding more. So this is where we left off with this particular series, this uh, How to Paint with Photoshop series. And real quick, what I've been working on is uh, this painting here. This is what I've been working on the last few days. I just got into now starting to add color. This is, uh, I haven't added none of the shadows or anything. Uh, anyway, it's it's still a lot of work to do. But anyway, so that's what I've been working on. It's uh, characters out of my novel, like each of Agukas, my sci-fi novel. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and save this and close it. I actually already saved it. And let's go ahead and open this back up again. And what I'm going to do right now real quick is I'm going to just throw some random colors in the background. I'm going to use a... Uh, big brush to do that with. Big, a big flat brush. You should know these settings now. If you've watched, uh, I don't want to do it every single video. So if you've already been keeping up and watching, then you know what uh, brush this is. Because I already went, I already went through it in the beginning. If you don't, then just go ahead and look through the videos to the first ones and then you'll see what I'm talking about, what brush this is. So what I'm doing here is I'm just adding some uh, random colors. And uh, what I, I, the reason I'm doing this is because I want uh, some of those colors to come through when I color this. I'm going to turn the opacity down just a bit now. So uh, overall, I want that kind of blue color to be in there. And then I kind of want this like orange kind of brown color. Uh, just you know, little just little colors, and I just kind of I just start kind of blending them together a little bit. And this will allow me to get some different you know different variations. And then I'll, what I'll do is I'll when I paint over this. I'll have some different variations in color tone so it's just not all bland. And maybe add a little bit of this kind of cool. Cool, all right. That's good enough for now. Then I'll be painting on top of that to get the overall feel. And I'm going to go to the layer where we were working on. Let's see here, we have the, the quick line layer there. We have this other color layer I've been working on. And so I'm going to take my, so drop my brush size down take my eraser here really quick and just going to erase some of this that I know I don't need might as well get it out of the way now I'll add some color back in there also actually it doesn't really matter that I can erase I can erase it all if I wanted to, uh, all that at least, because I'm going to be adding different colors. Let's see, I don't know how far, wait a minute, what happened to my line? Oh, I kind of started painting over it, that's right. Okay. I say okay too much. There we go. Now I'm going to add some of the background colors, some of these colors, and I'm going to turn the opacity down to like 27 or so, and I'm just going to kind of add some of these, this a little bit, not much, but I want to change up the colors a little bit, because you kind of want to have this sort of unifying thing going on with the colors, and you do that by just adding a lot of the colors everywhere into the painting, so I'm just going to you can also do this with. Um, you can do this uh, at a later stage by using one of these drop-down things like soft light or something. But I'm just going to use this since I have. We haven't really begun, you know, seriously painting anything yet. We haven't like actually started doing any of the serious work to the painting. So uh, I can add all kinds of crazy colors. And don't be afraid to just add crazy colors to your to your painting you get some pretty cool results and then we'll be, we'll be covering a lot of it anyway but it's just cool to get some 
different kind of results. Okay, so I think that's good for now. There we go. So add some variation now to different skin tones. Now I'm going to zoom in here and work more on this lake here. So now I can go ahead and erase. And what I'm going to do too is I'm going to go and add these two layers together. I just select and click them and then merge layers. You really should know how to use Photoshop by now. If not, there's some other videos to learn how to you know, do the basics in Photoshop, how to do things. I can't take the time. It takes long enough to make these videos, you know, just going, showing what I'm doing, painting and explaining that. Eh, already five minutes, six minutes. I feel like I barely even did anything. So now I'm going to take the colors I have here, and I'm going to kind of just blend them. And I don't like to blend too much with this hard brush. I mean, I, I, you know, I, I, I kind of just get a quick blend like that, you know, kind of for form and shape. And I know that since my light is kind of coming from up there, I'm going to have a little bit of shadow on the knee, and maybe a little bit on the top, not much, but... So I'll add the highlights in a minute. I want a little bit of that shadow there. Okay. Now I'm going to take a soft brush. 100% soft. And I'm just going to use this. I'm just lightly touching the board right now. Really lightly touching it. And I'll, I'll, I'll fix the edge up in a minute. But first I like to get all this done first. I'm going to take some of this darker color. Put it back in there. I remember on the first one I made the mistake of not having that uh, darker color there like I wanted it, or like it should have been. And let's see, I can kind of darken up some of this in here. And I'll add the edge to her leg in a moment. I'm going to turn my opacity up a bit. Right now I'm just working on getting this nice and smooth kind of look. Kind of blending in some of that. Okay. So that looks good now. I got my leg pretty much how I need it. And I'm going to add a... I'm trying to think of the color of light I want. I think I'm going to go with warm light. This kind of warm light with this kind of bluer background will be cool. And I'm going to add the light here onto the leg with soft brush for now. Okay, now I'm going to add some hard lines to add some texture back into it. I'll use this five brush for right now. Eight minutes already. Tony, time flies. Got to like work got work quicker and I don't have time to explain what I'm doing really I'm going to add this kind of color there I'm going to use this dark color for the edge of this leg I don't want to so see just by doing that it already adds more uh, texture to the leg as you can see and also you can see here that what I did is I added a little bit of this, the color out here into the leg after I did that shadow there. And I'll do that again. I already have the kind of color there, so now I just need to add a little bit of the shadow. And I'm going to use this hard brush. I'm almost out of time, so I'll go ahead and I'll definitely be making another video right now. And then I can kind of blend this in. And I'll use my soft brush. I'm just about out of time, so uh, if you can go ahead and visit the link to help support me, just go ahead and just click on. Oh, you don't have to, you don't have to read it or anything. Just click on the link is enough that supports me. You know the deal. All right, so cool. We'll go ahead and call this one, this particular one done, and we'll come back.